Hello everybody, Eddie with Learn and Teach here back at it with another educational video. Uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install X Analyzer for X64 and X32 Debug. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because in my journey to install this plugin myself, um, it was actually pretty tough. I couldn't find any solid instructions um, as to how, ins how to install it. I'd like to say I'm a pretty computer savvy person and the fact that I had difficulty uh, getting that plugin installed makes me think that maybe other people have difficulty as well. So I'm going to show you how to uh, do that in this video. So for the people that aren't acquainted with X Analyzer, basically what it is is a plugin that allows you to um, go through the assembly of a program and see what arguments are being fed into certain Windows API functions. So that may sound a little complicated, but let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So for example, you see we got this create file a Windows API function here. And right above it you see we have every argument that this specific function takes in. So if we go over to the Microsoft page um, where you know the documentation for this function is at. you can see that we we also have seven functions that are being um, or not functions but we have seven attributes or arguments that are being passed into this function um, and so you can see we got file name desired access share mode security attributes creation disposition flags and attributes and template file and so from our x32 debug window, um, it, it actually goes in reverse order, right? So file name is the first argument. The desired access is the second argument. The share mode is the third argument. Uh, creation disposition is the fourth argument, and so on and so forth. So this plugin basically allows you to, you know, just receive a, a, a way better understanding of how your program actually functions in terms of, of you know what functions are being called and what arguments are being passed to those functions so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the installation part of the video um, the link for this page will be in the description you're gonna go ahead and download apis underscore def dot zip as well as X analyzer for both 32 and 64 bit and once you have that installed you're gonna go ahead and um, browse over to where you have you know your your x32 debug and x64 debug installed and so for the 32-bit version you're going to go ahead and go to that plugins folder you want to extract api's def into an actual folder make sure you don't extract each individual file into the plugins folder make sure it's in its own specific folder and then once you do that drag xanalyzer.dp32 into this folder as well and then you're pretty much just going to do the same thing for the 64-bit version, make sure you have that API's def um, folder in, in, in a non-zip, non-compressed folder, and then drag X Analyzer DP64 into there as well. And as far as usage goes, um, all I do is I just open the program, and let's see, I'll open a reverse me here. And once you install that, um, it should populate automatically by itself. If it doesn't populate the comment section with these arguments by itself, what you're going to do is just right click anywhere on the in the assembly window and then you're going to go down to X analyzer and you want to analyze module. And that'll populate the comment section. Another thing you want to do just so it's automatic every time you go ahead and start, you know, open a, another program in this disassembler, make sure you have automatic analysis on, extended analysis on, analyze undefined functions on. So pretty much just copy what I have here. And every time you open a new program uh, in this disassembler, it's going to populate the comment section uh, with the arguments for those functions. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys learned. If I did help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. The second video of the reversing for newbies series is going to be here very very soon i'm just you know i just have to record a certain section of it and then start editing it so it should be here within the next couple of weeks i know people were waiting for that uh, to go ahead and come in and it's right around the corner 